So, round six, boys, CB Rifle Season 3, EG versus Pond Guard. It is a match for staying in Fuel Division, although PG still has a chance to even make it to second place if they got lucky. But first, they gotta win the defense, which they have been struggling with lately. EG has been struggling to get any wins though this season. So, we'll see who's gonna struggle the best today. Looking at the lineups, we definitely got a different set of units on EG side compared to what we've seen before from them. More meta units here with the Forte Bracho, the Monks, and the Imperial Spear Guards. That, that, uh, those have been staples. Also, big on the Shenji. Of course, Nozikali and Mission have been banned, but we can see the same lineup essentially on the side of EG. So, it's gonna be a very similar clash here. A bit more calf on the guard side and we can see Susno with the calf though almost full calf except for the shield maidens camels being played not that many camels on the side of EG though so quite a different setup you can see how heavy both teams are on the Shenji for Shenji for PG and even for Shenji for EG as well so very very heavy and also heavy on the heavy armor by the way so many pullboxes so many malls on both sides but a bit more malls on just the one though on the side of uh of pg i'm gonna check it out it's gonna be good <laughs> we'll see who's gonna get the most mvps it's definitely a good shot that's the thing you can always get mvp even if you lose so uh just just be the best of your own team and they will be able to uh, to get you going <laughs> all right maybe we should start a contest for talking later on all right there we go wild dog fort it's gonna be our arena for today as we start off joining camera oh, there we go let's see if pg wants to jump down yep there you go there you go all right so they're gonna try and prevent the bridge from being allowed to be breaking down probably nice trebuchet already hitting the artillery pieces there so how are they gonna handle this we can see they're gonna take down one probably gonna take down the other one as well Ooh, good kill there from Nain on RT still one standing will it hold nope so it's only gonna be the losses for the heroes on the side of PG. Reach still up though. Nice pick up there, Itachi Ku. And shoot a scav. You gotta run, you gotta run. People are just getting away, not being killed by Kamira. The musket here should be able, XCOM should be able to get up, pick up, shoot a scav. Maybe even pick up people if he's lucky with the traps as well. PG definitely wanna take down the breach, it looks like. Using the traps now to take it down. Maybe hard to do though. Tower still going. Better ram is really low as well. The muscus and artillery have been picking off at that. It even got destroyed because EPG haven't used it for a minute probably. So now they just gotta try and destroy the gate by themselves. So this gives us some time to take a look at the units. So Let's see, let's see. Fire Lances, Heavy Imperial Shields, Heavy Fort Rocho, even Pine playing Pull Axe today. RT on the Shenji for Pond Guard, so he's gonna be happy to sit at the back and protect those. Alright, we're not gonna get any, uh, any gate block here. So, PG, looking strong at the left supply. Right bridge already down. Left bridge also down. Now Pipo actually managed to pick up a kill there. Good job by Pipo. I don't know what he used it. Probably just the heroes there. Ooh, Pine switching to longbows now. So it's gonna be interesting to see where he's gonna go with those. Let's see where EG wants to go. <laughs> it 
So at least they're grouping up on the left tower this time. Uh, of course they got the Shenyi, they got the bombs as well, so they'll be easily able to keep shooting down on the A point. They gotta watch out though for... Nice pick up there by the way by Superbone against Chimera. That's gonna slow down EG a little bit. They still got 9.5 minutes though, so plenty of time for their team captain to come back. But they gotta watch out for the longbows. I mean they can of course trap the supply there, they can see the longbows, so they may be using the trap as well. But the longbows could easily take out the Shenjis if they want to. Alright, small interruption there, girlfriend drop by. <laughs> Alright, back to the match guys. Uh, EG looking to set up formation here, as PG actually selling out, this is a good one, because now if they can destroy the, the gate, they'll be delaying EG for so much. Mortatory definitely getting destroyed, that's for sure. Bubble not able to actually hold it off here, I think. EG just being a little bit too quick on the wall, so now they need to make this push succeed and they also need to keep your battering ram alive because if it's not gonna go then they will be struggling later on uh, they got ten, 5 out of the shenji though so that's pretty good nice traps they are coming in also able to pick off some of the uh, longbows all right only one eye sack oh nice getting eye pop so that's a really good one eye pop was playing the monk so that's a big unit to take out now another trap is gonna fly and they gotta watch out they don't trap their own though. Oof. Nearly getting those. Now we also got us doing the longbows on EG side, so that's gonna be helpful. EG going for the attack, front line holding strong. Tech Pumpe inconclusive. Susno and the guys are also going for the supply there, so we're gonna make a beeline. Secure that supply, but they gotta remember that the gate may not be open. So let's see what's going on. A big for the Bracho there from Rappler Grave. Nice ability holding from there. Nice push from Star Cesper and into Banana with it. Bombs on the left there. EG may be coming in with the flank though. The longbow is still shooting strong. Also Shenji holding strong. Here comes the Kev cleaning up the flank approach from Susno and the boys. But they're still holding strong at the gate side. The monks are doing work there together with the longbow and the Shenji. Cesper picking out Toad King. Still the supply block here. And I think the Kev was cleaned up as well by EG. Really good job there by Itachi Kyo with the Fortebraccio. So PG really struggling to get new units now. They need to clean up the supply real quick. They got the Shenji there fine and RT with the Shenji. Now PG's got the supply in control. Gate is open though. PG would have been able to close the gate if they were still standing there. But EG quick enough on the trigger. They were really decisive in what their approach. Now gonna suicide on the supply here, trying to get as many units as they can. No doubt, probably gonna be destroyed. Nope. Quick approach to Alexander and sort of a really good job. More guys from EG are coming in. A is being captured, no contest from PG there. Whoa. Bond guard, can he hold off? Yep. Alright, so Pyan able to hold off with more traps flying in, starts losing his unit though. Now is PG gonna set up a defense there? EG. Maybe going for the final. You need to remember though that the artillery may still be there. Or is it not? Already destroyed the artillery, so that's good. Ooh, nice pickup there. So the longbow getting killed as well. So PG losing the initial fight. Definitely well played by EG. Can, like just getting in, getting the kills there. But PG's been playing a lot with the heroes, getting quite a few kills left and right. They are losing the hero mage though. Now it's all about the final supply point already secured. Small skirmishes just keep happening everywhere, left and right. Alright, so EG looking good. Pondegard struggling again on the defense. We'll have to wait and see what they bring now. Let's 
find out. So PG setting up Shenji in a corner. Of course, Shenji's from the attacker can actually set up both on this location and the front wall to just keep throwing the bombs overhead and actually destroy them that way. Trap coming in. Oh, they may be getting lucky here. Nope, not getting anything. So good dodge there. Ooh, again, Camera getting picked off a little bit, being too aggressive, sitting on the front line there. Longbows from the main are gonna shoot, it's only one though, so that's not gonna, not gonna do much. XCOM now sitting on the Shanji. Once again, we can see double Shanji on both sides. So, those will be the DPS, and then we got, of course, the same front line with the Imperial Spear Guards with the Porto Braccio. You can also now see the Mimillions coming through as well. Couple Hulk Sergeants. Ooh, skirmish, skirmish. Just the heroes though I think. Yeah once again just the heroes. The teams are really really fighting hard just to get the single hero death. Get the death timers going. You can see only one Isaac going down there. One guard getting the better of you. And also be getting starts and that will delay EG more and more. Of course, still seven and a half minutes, so it's not gonna be the end of the world. Ooh, nice trap though. Got five of the Shenji in total, and also got a couple of the shield banners. Now, once again, oh, 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 disconnecting. That's not gonna be good for PG. Hopefully, he'll be able to come back. As EG set up their flanks, they are really able to group faster than we've seen from them before. One guard sitting in this corner. They need to get a flank anywhere with all the cats that they have if they want to hold a thing. Sitting in a corner, getting attacked from all sides at once. Typically not an ideal location. We've bananas meanwhile getting the kill there. On the Pipo who was playing the camels. So his camels hopefully grazed, may be able to hold still somewhere, but I'm not sure he's actually in a good position. Tree's really annoying getting in the way by the way. Ooh, fine, playing aggressive for the Shingen online. Really want to get down closer. Ooh, Greece is really losing a lot of his uh, shield maidens there. So, looks like Engegner playing it patiently this time. Nice hiding there. Ooh. Yeah, just Imperial Spirit is being so tanky right now, especially in the cover commander. The healings are coming through as well. Super Bone definitely doing his damage once again. He's he's definitely doing well with the unit kills there. Guardians of the East. All right, another mall grab, and there goes another hero. All right, so EG pushing aggressively. Getting pushed as we this time, I should say. They're definitely gonna lose this fight, but now the question is will their main force actually engage as well? York start putting, going down, so EG falling apart a little bit. They're going in, but they've already lost so many heroes. Is this gonna be a good fight though? That's the question. Strong front line going in. EG running strong with the Porto Braccio. Shield, Shenji in the back and different defense. Oh, Diggerax lands are gonna be big. Yeah, cleaning up all these Shenji here. Oh, damn, this is gonna be such a huge turning point. Now the question is if EG can hold this position on their side. They still took the Shenji shooting, but almost no front line. Ooh, Nana's next one, they're gonna be in trouble. PG pushing through with their front line. Cesper still doing work with the Diggerax lands in the back. He's gonna be getting so many value out of those. EG reinforcing though, with the supply nearby, there's no block on either supply. I think Pondgard's gonna lose their other Shenji as well. No, EG fuel gonna go down. Big charge here. From the Outriders though, it's not that effective. Main and XCOM still able to push back with the Shenji. The monks uh, and only Isaac with a shield man still holding the front line. And RT and shield cap probably not gonna get too much going on there. Oh, they're holding, they're holding. Alright, this front line is gonna do work for PG. This will allow them to at least clean up the monks that are sitting here. PG meanwhile resetting, trying to get back as many units as they can. Let's take a look at what's left. Alright, so a bit more left on the purple from Pondgard. EG having a little more of the 
gold units though. I think most Shenjis from EG are now gone. Oh god damn. Oh my god, I had my mic muted. Oh man, that sucks so much.
All right, I'm sorry, boys. I had the mic muted. That sucks so much. Oh no! All right, anyway. So PG taking the first game on the defense here against EG. That was such a great game. Oh man. All right, all right. So EG not getting the game going. Uh, PG finally getting the defense. We are big game from Pi. Look at that. He's back in action. 4-0-16. Really good scoreline. Almost 100 unit kills. Uh, although Shiloh's captain Toting doing really well. Toting not going to get another MP though. Cesper, great flanks with the dagger stuns. We could see those. It almost turned in the match in favor of AG. But in the end, Pongard able to come back. Small win by EG in the first. But then Pongard, the second and third fight, really good for Pongard as well. All right, so we're going to set up the next one. I apologize for the mute, boys. But that sucked. That's what you get when your girlfriend steps in a room. Well done. All right, we're going to set up the second lobby. So this time it's going to be PG on the attack. So let's get the backs in, the bands in, the bands back in. Here we go. So Zekalian as well. And we got the Falconetti. So really happy front lines there. We saw the longbows. Um, they were killed, I think, way in advance. I'm not getting much value out of those, but the Shenji definitely doing work. Of course, Shenji longbows, basically the only Real specialist left right now with these bands. Uh, we have seen the incendiary arches though, also being used quite a bit before. Let's see, let's see. So, Alpha Nitrat once again casting, gonna be with Corleone. Alright, so back to the lobby, boys. I uh, gotta switch it up. Bond Guard getting the one. Looking to come back at the end of the season. They can still get a high finish. So we'll see if they can make it happen. EG currently sitting at zero though. <sighs> All right, take a breather, boys. Um, we're gonna finish the contest as well. Uh, Pondegard, of course, winning the match. I'm gonna set up a new one there. Who will win game two? It's gonna be, let's give you guys 10 minutes. Here we go. So you got a couple minutes here. You can start betting. Right. 
So I was really surprised seeing in the last fight how hard Pongard were just pushing straight through. Didn't use any flanks, they were just, just going in. Going straight. Making sure to get all the all the stuff there. I'm gonna switch Pi in there. Yep, I'm right. just waiting for one more. <laughs> well, let's go, November Terra betting 200 points on PG. Zarvan also get betting his points on Pond Guard here. He won this bending. Uh... You won leaving and getting here in the dust here, I think. <laughs> Everybody going for PG, it looks like. Favorites to win the next match. We'll see if, if it's gonna happen. PG looking good though. They've always been looking good on the attack, so EG's gotta show up real strong if they wanna hold this one, I think. Just waiting for the last one to come in. So I may remind you again, PG. Currently sitting at 6 points, so if we were to take a look at the standings right now, you would be able to see that they would go into 6, so tying with Why So Serious. Now if they got another point, they would be tied with yeah, Buddy at 7 points. So, this would mean that depending on the result from Odin's Legion versus yeah, Buddy, currently Pondegard still in a good location to get 2nd place. Remember though, Pondegard playing Odin's Legion in the last round. So, if Pondegard win another one, they will be going to 7 points. And if they then also win against Odin's Legion, they will could go to 9 points. So if Odin's drop a single game against Yabari, Pondegard have it all in their own hands to take that 2nd or 3rd place. And then they wouldn't even have to think about not being able to stay in Feudal Division. Alright. Looks like we're gonna start. Alright, here we go boys. Still around six, second game of the matchup. On guard leading one to zero, they're now gonna be attacking. EG gonna hold off. We'll see if they can do it. You can still place your bets right now. You got a couple more minutes left before we close down the betting. So let's take a look. Fortebraccio, the Young Rangers. Being picked up here as well, Monk, so looking like the similar setup that we saw before. Mirmelon's also being used. One unit of Fossil Longbow Man this time by Pion. Such an effective unit still. Cesper once again with the Daggerous Lances, but also now with the Alchemist trying to support his team from the front and the flanks. Still Heavy Shenji, even more... no, still four. Five. No, this time it is five. So five Shenji on the... <laughs> The side of uh, Van Gegner. We can also see four on the side of uh, PG. I think both teams using a very similar setup here with the monks, the Fortebraccio, the Mirrorlands, the Shield Maidens, and the Spear Guards. The only real difference here is the camels on the side of PG, only the one though from Pipo, and the Alchemists on the side of uh, Van Gegner. 
Let's go. Susano betting his points on his own team. That's the fate you want to have. Let's see, let's see. Here we go. Ooh, mic's still working. So, bridge already down on the left, also down on the right. Everything is still pushing, it looks like all the artillery pieces have been shot. Here goes the gate. Ooh, nice pick up there from C4, getting the pick on Susno this time. Camaro was the one to drop first last game, but this time it is Susno. Alright, you can see EG trying to scout it out on the left side. I'm sorry for taking away guys, uh, but I had to check out what's going on on the rest of the division. So they're struggling a little bit with the lobby there. Ooh, a watch is still alive, so that's going to be good to take a shot at those claimers probably. Or even the monks. Not going to get anything done, I think, though. Shenji, no, even using the trap, just want to make sure that it gets destroyed. Of course, it's pretty hard to get there with just a hero. It's not wasting any time. Good hold here on the gate for a little bit. Just gonna lose a few.
at AG. Fighting forward aggressively, but Pine able to pick up a kill there. Gen Master is gonna run back. Pine maybe being stepping up a little bit too far forward, but Toad came back and up to RT getting the kill there against Gen Master. Tuck Pump is gonna be careful there. Pipo really trying to get him. And also getting out. Good job there. Shenji already shooting from RT. Able to get the kill first go. You can see these shield maidens here, I think. Don't think they were spotted. So Itachi Q potentially really going to get a good flank if PG don't spot him out. Let's check out what they got over here. We can see a longbow trying to go and get some of the Shenji probably. See if they can get those or even get try and get the uh, longbow there. Definitely getting something. As they are now running. Here we go. Ooh, that trap is a bit far, but they may actually have run. No, they didn't. All right. So let's see. PG looking to make it down. Shield maidens on both flanks. There's also one going in the back, I think. With that, got spotted out. Things coming through. Ooh, EG, too quick, too quick, too quick, too quick. EG, go back. No, 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 no good, no good, no good. I need to run with the shield maidens too soon. Nice pickup there from the uh, Dagrax Landers, I think, EG. Ooh, yeah, EG a little bit too soon. That thing was just happening too quickly. Same for the ones down here. Also, able to kill all the Dagrax Landers, so that's a really good job there. By Susno, 1v2 right now. EG not able to capitalize further on this one. As they are losing their sh shield man over here by Itachi Ko. He was just too soon. Susno and Itachi Ko too soon on the flank. Not able to get what they wanted probably, but able to trade for Dagger Rex Lance unit there. Not worth the leadership. So now PG knows that they have time on their hands. They are two heroes in the lead. This would be the opportunity to definitely go in. Let's see if they can get it going. They need to block the supply. There's Longbow sitting there. So it's going to be hard to just get the heroes in there. Nothing on the gate yet. So it's going to be just one single fight, one single engage. Here comes the calf already though, for the portion of the upgrades, I think Sander of SKW. Trap is gonna get in as well. Nice front line here from the shield. For the portion sitting behind, for backed up by the monks on both sides. Let's see if we can do the better. Bobolo getting a really good flank here with his monks, I think. You can see Bobolo also going for Shenji. Ooh, we just picking him up right away with Pines. Shenji as well. Here comes Sesp with a good flank there. But stopped by the Forte Porto. Once again, PG has a really good hold on this point. And also the supply is getting blocked in the meantime. Now getting sweep cleaned though, starts dropping. PG still holding it. But here comes the TQ. Ooh, he's stepping on a point, so it's not getting captured right now. Definitely delaying a little bit. Pipo, PG already pushing forward, but they don't have the point yet. So either Chico may be able to hold off. Nope, he cannot anymore. So PG take the A point and you can see EG already going back to the final. Toki picking up Sandmaster and also Nain is dropping, being killed by Inconclusive. Convincing push there from Pond Guard. They're definitely not playing around. They were able to destroy the flank that was coming in from Amgigner with the fake push that they initially had baiting out the shield minions on the flanks. And then EG just not having the exact plan ready. Mm-hmm. 
All right, let's see. PG already looking aggressively once again to fight with the heroes from EG. We're moving back and forth. Look at this rotation. Definitely going for a different approach compared to what we've seen before from any other team. Fort Virtue coming in strong. Not seeing that many Shinji this time on their side. It's really going to be a hard, 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 hard front line. Looking for the back supply. So this will mean that EG has no chance to get any new units if they want to switch. Clean setup here from PG. EG now have to pick up the other supply, which they will do. Alright, so it's going to be a reverse map basically. PG first on the rotation though, so they will have to be having the initial push here. They will be first to get the new units. So both teams probably will be struggling to get the new rotation in. Now the advantage for EG is that their devs that come back in will be able to instantly block the supply that PG have to use now. With Endgegner. Of course, also going to struggle to get new units off the supply as well. So it's basically going to rely on the death timers. And we know that EG have lost the most in the last fight. So PG ahead with the death timer here. Let's take a look at the units as well. You can see Mr. Billy actually switching out his uh, Shenji here. So Super Bone also got the Shenji. I think units were safely retreated there from the guard, now setting up. And Gegner blocked up really nicely there. They got everything in that corner. It's just the one shield made and trying to make the flank happen. They're gonna be easy though. They're now bringing out some more calf as well. On the other supply, Outriders trying to shoot over the wall. Here comes the trap, so EG gonna have a hard time to see this, these traps coming in. PG trying to bait them on the point, gonna be good. Here we go, Kipo getting the first kill there on the other one Isaac, that's gonna be a good one to start the fight up with. Front lines engaging right now, Idrath is uh, shooting at the back line probably. We can see the shield main is coming in right now, but being stopped. Pipo and... Toad King holding strong, pushing forward, flying, sitting in the center with all his entry the shields. Excellent attack bumper, really, really gonna work with the Shenjis. And also Camaro losing his outright from the side, but BG are having a firm hold on this location. While they are slowly starting to be pushed back, with the Shenji giving so much time, finally Arky and Pai going for the shield Shenji. BG able to get new units out of the supply, but same for EG, so we're gonna get a re-engage here. Both sets of Shenji still alive. Superbone got six left. The other one just dropping. XCOM and Tagpumpa actually have their units left. Here we go. A nice cleanup there from the Shenji. There was no defense anymore, so we're gonna see, we're gonna see. So, defense here by Endgegner in the end. Now, Ondergaard's gonna be in trouble on this supply. They're gonna lose some more units. They're gonna be struggling to get this one going now, I think. Still leading though with the total unit amount. But they may be losing quite a few there on the back. But the cap is coming in right now, Modal also on the way. So, if they're able to clean up the point with these direct lines and actually get a firm hold on the point right now. And they may be able to do it. They only got two units of Imperial Shield, so they need anti cap as quickly as possible. Lots of kills coming in here. Pipo, Sandmaster really doing work there. This one unit of Shield Main should be getting wiped quite easily with these Modal and Imperial Shields. And also more heroes on point right now for Pond Guard. EG trying to suicide on the point. The units are not there yet. They are being hold of here with the units from Pond Guard sitting there. Imperial Shields together with the Fort of Rocho. And now also some cap is coming in. That's gonna be it for Pondegard, I feel like. Here we go, just a little bit left. Tw 
15 seconds to go, EG not able to get to the point, looks like Kamira is still trying to make it through, but can he do it? That is the question, his unit is being blocked there, XCOM also with the unit there, EG not gonna be able to get it, even though a single musket is still sitting on the point, XCOM dropping and there we go. PG picking up the 2-0, the first one they officially got this season. Going to 7 points is gonna be a good one for them. One more round to go. Alright, so Toad King able to get his MVP score this time. 508, 119, Shooter Scav, Gwen following them. Toting definitely putting up a most performance in this game. Good fights there from PG. As we are getting close to the other game, so we gotta, gotta get going as well for the next one. I'm quickly gonna go over all the stats. As I'm also gonna give you no beaches versus Argonautis. Um, in the contest, so here we go. 